Okay, three, two, one. And now, welcome back, dear gamer bears, to another edition of my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 playthrough, and I will not waste a single amount of time. We're going to move into this right away. And in the last episode, if you remember, we fought yet another form of Mobius. And we're going to move even further into the castle. Hey, it looks like we already got some cutscenes going on here. Right path. Oh, the game tells me I'm on the right path. We followed the right route. According to Boliaris's data, we should be. Everything here looks so sumptuous and lavish. Wait. Hmm? It's the right path, but we shouldn't be here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't we? Should have known. Uh, this place, I saw an image of it in training. Oh, oh, shit! We gotta go. Noah, is this where I think it is? Yeah. The throne room. The throne room. Oh, da da da. It's not just bad place. This worstest place, heart of enemy base. We haven't been noticed yet. Let's get out of here now. How do you know idea. that? We might have some cameras in there. What are you doing? We have to go. Noah, what are you playing at? Come on! That's gonna get them in trouble, isn't it? remember it but yeah this is the place where we were born so you're all just a bunch of science experiments hey Spark. isn't that fun this is creepy stop cursing dude we Jesus ever like that my Skin's crawling. Please, can we leave? You leave if you want. Get people. out. Do you think they're sleeping? Or maybe they're... Wait, is that... It is her. What? Ethel! Huh? That's crazy. How can it be Ethel? Well, it sure looks like her. But this is definitely a first termer. No, it really is Ethel. From when we first met her. Yeah, no mistake. W what do you mean when you first met? What in the spark is this? This is what they taught us, right? That our lives are born from the Queen. You are as well. Huh? Same for you guys. We soldiers are born from the Queen. We fight. And then... To the Queen, you return. Yeah, oh great, now we got caught. We had the chance to get out and look what happened. Excuse me? Queen of Kevis. You mean the Melia from Xeno from Xenoblade 1? You have returned, or is this a different Melia? My beloved soldiers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honestly, without the sound that disturbed gas shit, it just makes no sense. <laughs> Uroboros rabble. You dare to intrude on the presence of her majesty, Melia Antiqua. There's a golden consul? What is this guy? He's not like the other consuls we've met. Mio, be careful. Oh. 
Mia. Uh, sorry. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. endeavored for countless years to protect and shelter Kevis under my aegis and now you seek to bring ruin to this world this grieves me come off it how are we bringing ruin to anything you seek to deny it think upon your actions have you or have you not destroyed colony flame clocks we didn't have any choice no choice Indeed. I assume, then, you had no choice but to collude with our sworn enemy. That's why you've been trying to wipe us out. Both us and Ethel's Colony 4. Verily, it is said, Urubaris abhor this world. You must be erased, lest this world be destroyed. I don't want the world to be destroyed. Do you realize how many battles we fought and won for Kebes? We've served you our whole lives, and now this bollocks! Your Majesty, please! You say you fight for Kevin. That you've served us. Are you certain? Rather, it seems, you have been fighting for yourselves and none other. <sighs> you cling to life in your desperation. That is why you have fought. Unchecked, Uroboros will lead this world to ruin. Now, by my authority, you shall perish. So, that's it. That's your verdict, then. It is not Her Majesty's verdict. It is the will of the world. It's what? Indeed, the security of this world is paramount. Therefore, Uroboros, the end is nigh, for you shall die by my hand. I, Melia and Peter, shall face you in mortal combat. Oh man, we're inviting this Melia Chuck right now. What level is she? I can't tell. Alright, 43. Hopefully she's easier than the last fight we just had.
All right, we got ourselves a little chain attack going. And all right, we'll start with lowering physical defense. That should help. Uh -oh. Apparently, I forgot to how to play the game for a second. <laughs> Let's just do this. And right, we should do a little bit of damage. Alright, maybe I made a little mistake there. It certainly should be made up by this. Oh, that's bullshit. I could just end like that. Uh -huh. Ain't that fun. Oh great, where you lose this? Shit. Uh -huh. Well, ain't that fun. Yeah, we can always try again with this. The amount of grinding this game expects you to do is getting a little annoying, not gonna lie. This fight.
Alright, we could just chip away a little by little. I think this fight can go pretty well. I mean, just so soon right after the last fight is a little dumb. You know what I just realized? I seem to be missing an awful lot of attacks right now. Okay, ain't that fun. This kind of reminds me of the gym fight in Xenoblade 2, which is most of your attacks just keep missing. Which that totally isn't annoying at all. No, not at all. Bypass the defense, I think that should be something we need. There we go, that's some good damage there. And even more damage to be done. Alright, we're only 18 minutes in. We'll do better. Let's see this again. Alright, we're even farther than we were before. Good. Okay, seriously? That's some bullshit. Okay. And my attacks keep missing as well. Oh, bullshit. I just take that much damage from that. Hold on, say we're already about at the halfway mark. Now if we could just keep this little rhythm going, we're already almost halfway to another chain attack as well, so that's pretty cool. You're too far. I don't want to jinx anything yet, so I'm not gonna say how easy or hard this fight is just yet. But still. Alright, there we go. There's the second phase. Again, that's kind of annoying that most of my attacks are just randomly missing. And, okay, cool. Come on here. Good, thank you. Yeah, that attack isn't annoying at all. 
It's serious. Dude, can you fuck off? Yeah, let me use the same freaking two attacks. Okay, dude. Okay, really? That's not difficult to you. know you're just being a bitch. Really? Really? Fuck, we just went through this in the last boss fight. Really, dude? Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to do grinding, because that's just stupid. Who thought that shit was a good idea? And honestly, I don't have any bonus experience, right? Better make sure we're well rested. I don't think so. Nope, we don't. Great, time to go do some grinding again. Rest Ain't that fun. Me. Well, time to edit this out later. <sighs> yeah, I see what the problem is. Once she evades all of attacks too, she just spams. That's a fair fucking fun fight. That's fun. Just spam the same attack over and over again. Alright, well, uh, why can't I? What do you mean I can't travel from here? The hell? What the fuck do you mean I can't travel from here? So you tell me I can't grind? Why? It's stupid. Why? Huh. Well, that's real smart game design. Tell me I can't freaking get out of here to grind. Oh, wait a minute. Just get on one of these so we can get up out of here. Right? Huh. Huh. Ow. Why ain't that fun? So literally no way out of here but that way, and I have to do an unavoidable boss fight. And I can't travel out of here. That's some really good game design right there. So if I need to grind, I literally can't. That's some really good game design right there. Bravo, game devs, you did a good there. Hmm. You can't travel from here, so am I just stuck? So what, am I just stuck? Like, what, who thought that was a good idea? Unless that allow me to go out of here through the- yeah, I think so. It, uh, huh, never mind. And this doesn't have an activation point, ain't that fun. I'm gonna look up and see if this game has an easy mode because who thought this shit was a good idea? Oh my god. Alright, move to the healer. Wait a minute, what did I just. I go wherever you go. Oh. Alright, I sure it can't be changed out, so that's all that means. Okay, then. How is it not... Oh, 
Man, I will try this team composition because if I literally can't beat this, then unless there's an easy mode in this game, I'm stuck because that's good game design. You just have me in a position where I literally can't get out of it. Anyway. And how am I supposed to know this boss fight is coming beforehand? Without have playing the game first. Did I just get one shot at fucking bullshit, dude? It'd be cool if you stop using the same attack, you ass. Can you not use that annoying ass attack? Dude, what the hell?
That should make life a bit easier for us. enemies to me.
Oh, fuck it, no physical attackers. We're just gonna go heal or stank because this is a failure. What the fuck am I supposed to what am I supposed to do against this shit? Huh? For some weird reason, I can't use a sure on um, chain attacks anymore. Why can't I use our jet attacks anymore? I'm gonna do it before this one. Why can't I use her now?
Seems like the only way I can even beat this bitch is by going on slow because fucking stealth is the only way I can beat this chick. Well designed boss. Just put it right after another boss. It was already super annoying. I just realized, I think I know why I can't hear her, so she's just not here now, okay, if she's not here, why the hell is, okay, okay, if she's not here then, why the hell is she showing up on the hood then, that makes no sense.
coming with you. I go wherever you go. I'm coming with you. All right, hold on. You know what? I'm going to reset the game. Give me a second. Just so I can still have a shooter on the team, because that's really weird how that happens. So the game sure tries to punish you for trying to switch heroes. Why? That's stupid. And also, if I see the option screen, I'm going to change the difficulty, because there's literally, I literally can't grind, so I literally can't do this fight. Because some asshole on the dev team thought that shit was a good idea. Alright. I'll watch it happen again sometime later in the game. Right, we're going on options. I'm changing the difficulty. I don't like that. Where better to monitor the battle than on healing duty? Alright, here we go. I'm putting this on easy because... Yeah, I'm putting this on easy because this boss fight is just sucking. I, I'm not known. I literally can't fucking grind either, so that's that's great design. This is funny. I could have sworn the system options wasn't there earlier. So if some dick lurker on the fucking dev team not taking that off was a good idea. Really reset the game in order to freaking do that. How funny. Right, let's try this horseshit again. Alright, this time it's on easy. For fuck's sake. Now we're just trying to beat this stupid boss fight. What great use of my time? Just because you ain't good at the game, or not even that, I'm just not good at the game, I'm just a really good And grinding in this game just simply takes too long, so no. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just very underlined. I don't want to hear none of that out of you cocksuckers who want to sit there and tell me that I need that game that you fucking play with you think you can do better.
Oh, and I better remember to turn it back to English after this as well. struggling so much because I'm severely underwhelmed. So you know what? Just like with my Pokemon stuff, I'm gonna have to do some off-screen grinding then in this game. I don't think I'll be playing this game again until Wednesday, so seems pretty good. Or at least playing this game on this channel again until Wednesday. Already, her HP goes down way faster. This one in previous Xenoblade you know, games, they just lower the level of the, of the uh, enemy. Which, personally, I think they could, they should have just done here. But still. I guess they just lower their overall stats, it looks like. I think this is literally the first time I had to change the difficulty in the game thus far. You know, if y'all saw the last episode, I got real close to doing it there too. And the chance attack's just already over. What determines- like, I know it's the sidebar there. What determines that, seriously? Second phase, well, that was easy. He'll get it easy. Alright, so then, like I said before, after this episode, I guess I got some off-screen grinding to do. It's not that bad as a game, I don't care. I know some people out there are fucking saying that, oh, you beat the game, and you play it, so you think I can do it. But no, I'm just severely under Level 43 to level 38s and 39s. Come on. Sure is up. All right, all right, turn attack. Just so we have all seven. Now, depending on how much this does, it should end this off. a glitch I encountered earlier trying to change the hero. Because she just wouldn't show up in the party right after, which is weird. Either that or she just sent him back to the to our little camp. That might have been it. Yeah, 
Yeah, depending on how much damage this attack does, she's dead. Yeah, after this upset, I'm definitely doing some off screen running, but unlike in Pokemon, I can't just shove candies in their mouths. I guess he's supposed to be at a certain threshold of, their, of uh, HP, it looks like. Oh jeez, I bet you don't be an annoying little cunt. You could have gotten that on normal mode. I was learning to level and I don't feel like grinding, so fuck that shit. But it's not right, or at least not trying to grind on here. But my dear viewers wouldn't like a bunch of boring grinding being done, so there. You wanna sit there and tell me I'm just sucking at the game? Look at my levels are alone. And you think you can do better? You do it. But enough of that. And now what is this bullshit? Alright, annoying story stuff, what's next? No shit, Set. I think I can see that. Oh, she didn't get hit by that thing. Get out of here. Sorry. Lost my focus. How Senna? Jesus Christ, how many of them little paper birds do you have in there? All right then. No, you crazy. That's the queen. I don't give a shit if it's the queen, we're gonna kill her. But we have to. Even so. Noah! She attacked us, so we're gonna attack her. Simple as that. <gasps> well, we're all gonna die. Well, it's been well known, you guys. Oh no, what happened here? Uh, uh, what? And I'm about to end off the heroes and something happens to her cliche. Or them cliche, whatever. Her Majesty is a machine. Spark off. <laughs> Spark off. <laughs> Just say fuck off. Even more back to back boss fights, let me guess. Was that your doing, Queen? You haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. <laughs> Again, blast it. Why does he make my head hurt? Noah, what's wrong? We're not done yet. Take up your blade. What's going on? Are you okay? It is fate. Huh? Fate. Many have tried, but none have ever managed to escape its flow. Wait, that sword. It's a Monado. Oh no, dude, or at least I think it is. A Monado. What now? No time, Thompson. The, the lost members are attacking. The 
lost numbers. Alright, Jin. Any one, faster with them sword passes. switches? Yeah, we've seen one before. Gotta be. No, let's book it. Yes, they won't be attacking the colony now. There's no point in our being here anymore. You're right. Still. of fate how easily it slips from my grasp yet perhaps it will come within reach once more yeah uh -huh, someone looks exactly like noah and maybe someone's does, related to him what will you do then and someone looks exactly like mio how interesting need you ask i will give us equilibrium a time unchanging. Or actually, Our maybe it's just clones of them. It's gotta be. Yeah, Longer Mew is a fucking hottie. Alright, now we're on goddamn chapter 5. Yes, I'll save the game. It's good to keep a and we're gonna switch it back to easy. Or not easy, to normal. How should we live the days that we have left? What should we spend them on? We saw one possible answer to those questions. But we cannot accept it. Not even as a last resort. After all, it was the only path that was offered to those two. We should all be free to choose our own way. That's our belief. That's why we fight. gonna hit something or not huh what use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets but I'm just practicing say why a hammer uh this looks more your style huh. totally right <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, silly. She beat five eight termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice 
first one, Mimi. That was awesome. Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Miyabi? Oh, Miyabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Mmm, sure. I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No! I'm ready if you are. I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true. <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> so you picked out fish because she's a gourmet, or at least looks like one, and has cat ears. That's racist. Hey, Senna. There's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no, that's not. That's exactly what it is, Senna. Stop lying. Senna. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Uh... I think that should be far enough. Did I do good out there? Hmm? What was that? Huh? What's that? <laughs> did, did I say something? Uh, I mean, you just said something about doing good or whatever. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Must have just slipped out. <laughs> Just looking at you like you stupid. You seem Stop so playing dumb, woman. You know what lonely. you said. Huh? That training? In camp? At night? She's always got friends right by her. But why does it seem like she's all alone? How come? So that's the way you see me, huh? A loner? Senna. I was hoping more plucky heroin girl or one track muscle head. That's more of what I kind of shoot for. Now look. Oh no, you don't. I think you're just being nosy. Senna, please. I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. No, we're worrying about you. Whether you like it or not, woman. Can you believe we just had to run all that way? I don't know why we're there here, but that, uh, that had force. That had that force not intervened. I should have think what would have happened. That, that what would have happened was it would have been curtains for us. Usually, a, a, a strategy is something you supposed to prepare beforehand. 
Now, uh, I guess we have more of a uh, use for castles and queens, huh? We're not going back. I know that much. I hope we. No, nope, we're going for it now. You're right. Not far now before we, we reach, reach Sword March. Let's go. What the hell? Anyways, before we continue, let me turn this back to normal. I tend to do this in some of the games I play anyways, because, well, you could end up being extremely underleveled for, the, for some of these fights. Alright, apply these changes, cool. Do tend to be underleveled for some of these fights, can't deny that. I yeah, haven't seen one of these in a while. Want to get the no-pawn coins. I thought I had us there. But we win this little scrimmage here. Whatever these rhino looking things are. Yeah, the little animation of the no pawn coins going away. We'd be lost without you, Uni. Anyways, uh. I took it we're going. What the fuck? These things are huge. Wait, where are we supposed to go this way? I don't think I'm supposed to go though. Alright, no, we're going this way. Alright, that's what I thought. I think once we get to this checkpoint, we can end off this rather lengthy episode. Oh, wait. We'll be at the base of the Great Sword before too long. Finally. Great sword for O. Oh, huh, looks like a bit of a chasm. Like that man said. All right, let's get some more cutscenes going. Didn't seem like to have something with luring enemies too. I knew very rarely if I'd ever really used that. I'll be honest. Do you think this city thing's really real? <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies. This is something decent, right? We got time to kick back a little. Alright, Waterhead Camp, we should 
sit here and love love a bit. Like hell, we really need it. All right, Ashura should be level 40 as well. Look at that. I definitely feel stronger. All right, we actually got some decent levels going now. And actually, with that, I think we can get some new skills going too. Ugh, let's be off. All right, before I continue, I want me a to be. A uh, physical attacker or something. Thank Jesus, I can actually use some of these other things now. I'm fine with attacking. Pretty good to me. Giant swing. Blow ring. I was using that. Okay. I think those are some good gems though. I really think we should level up on gems real soon. That's probably be the best thing to do right now. Now we can go past an hour and a half. I think we're fine. save real quick it's good to keep a record thank goodness man a little more strength going hopefully I don't get my ass chopped again but like I said before I got a lot of screen grinding to do so I don't have to lag behind like that again but still this forest card reminds me of that one forest area I think it was called Noctilum in Xenoblade X it kind of looks like that place so that seems pretty cool, I suppose. Alright, what are we running into next? Oh, but aren't you a ginormous sparker? D Whoa. Can you all stop Kurt? Where's like, dude, just say fucker, not Kurt and Sparker. Made it, huh? That'd be weird if I was saying what the spark happened there. I want to say what the fuck, man. Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled.
the Great Sword's base. You're right. Now let's just follow this road. Here, the paved road that totally wasn't made for us. Nope, not at all. We go down here. What's wrong? Mio? I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Oh boy. Lepnesis. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means. Hey, new potential hero, the one in the shorts is kind of a hottie. Geez, someone's trying to pad out the runtime. Come on, let's get on with a boss fight. Sheath your weapons. We're not looking for a fight. What? We are the lost numbers. Sworn enemies of Mobius. What? There are others standing against Mobius. Yes, dude, it's called a rebellion. Just like what you guys have rang up. Hey, nice ass. The name's Monica. Monica Vanden. The man who entrusted Ouroboros to you. I'm his daughter. Daughter? You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't ya? How do you... That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, all right. Hey, could Jenny be on the team? I like her. And I'm starting not to like her. Great. What is this from? Earlier disappeared in sky. Yep. Oh, and before we take you to say, you have to wear these. What am I wearing? Eye patches. Yo, I love eye patches. I've actually got one eye patch sitting right next to my, sitting right next to my uh, mic over here. Even though it's kind of broken, I gotta fix it. Eye patches. They're the same as the ones we wear. Put them on. The eye where your iris is. What? Mm -hmm. Wait. What? They won't hurt. They won't hurt you. Yeah, we're all gonna look real cool looking like pirates out here. Yeah, we're all a bunch of badasses now. No, where's my eye patch? I'm wearing mine too. Yeah, I'm wearing eye patches like the rest of you, even though mine's broken. Ah, I'm a badass too. Anyways, thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate this. So, I wait. I said uh, I said we aren't hostile, but that might not be enough to earn your trust. I'm guessing. If it lays your fears to rest, you can treat me as your prisoner until the reach we reach the city, huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, darling. <laughs> Don't call me darling. Don't want a prisoner. 
Whatever. I'll be your escort then. I should run out. You'll find anyone better with a mace in the lost numbers. Yeah, well. Don't mess us about it or anything. If I wanted to, then you'd a your attitude would have earned your thrashing already. You're not thrashing me, woman. Hope you know that. Damn, j jiggle physics. So let, so let's be on our way. Chaniel, show you how to go. Well, I can simply join the party. Hold up a minute. Alright, since so I got some weird looking rifle or something. There's also a defense type, eh? Cool. Good to add more names. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. And I just want to test out what she has. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. You want to tussle? Oh, we can come on. Tough. You're a lifesaver. Crash down to a break! Advance, pull down! Heal bullets! Root heal! Extra! Crash down! There were no holes in my strategy. Monica, can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will you? We'll talk more later. Make this quick! Smooth as always, Noah! I'm gonna do it! 
Yeah, she's got a bit of a hammer and shield, it looks like. Yeah, she's kind of like his arm from Tales of Our Eyes. Cool. So this should be easy. There's another one somewhere. Alright, looks like we're at our destination, after being led through by this person. And how are we meant to get into the city from here? I keep changing my lion's voice, oh well. Um, yeah, it's a dead end. Wrong. Oh, sesame. <laughs> Literally open sesame, I knew it. That's a bullshit. It's all. This led into the Great Star, the city this way. For safety, yay, our mission's complete. The game's over now. Well, I mean, no, nah, what a masterful disguise. I wouldn't call it masterful. It's literally right in front. It's literally your front door. Well, when Hazel said there was nothing for of interest in Sword March, guess you never found this. Hey, you guys done? Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? I kinda got a quiche in the microwave right now, and I'm really- and I really wanna eat it. <laughs> Alright, cool, go eat your goddamn quiche. I'm gonna go steal it, actually. Fuck it, I'm stealing your quiche. What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> you better save some of that surprise. You think you're all that, do ya? <sighs> I'll take them on! You're a lifesaver! Alright, it's a little annoying how she stopped every time we aggro an enemy, but uh, I mean at least the enemies in here die pretty quickly. I'm gonna get this little item down here. Oh my god. Man, I think I know what I put in there. The Doe I Missed Mame from Mario Party 3, I think. I don't know. I never played the first three Mario Parties. I played all, most of the other ones, but not those three. Wow. This place was inside the Great Sword all along? Save a bit of surprise, I said. 
Yes, it is a bit of a surprise. The fuller elevator landing. Now we can get on in here. So, Guernica, that's... that Winkley guy. Back then. Yeah, totally not Vandom. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning... So in other words, you ain't a clone like the rest of us are. That's where the elevators take Some you. Star Wars shit with them clones and whatnot. You'll be needing right, like that. now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? Uh, oh, so did you, did you see that jiggle physics there just now? Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I ain't see, complaining though. We're bound by Ouroboros blood. I'll show you mine as well, except I'm missing my eyeball. Right, we don't have to fight these guys, do we? Oh man, that chicken made me think the elevator was gonna crash. Alright, maybe we're not fighting, and maybe that's a dumb jurisdiction there, but. Eh. You don't know, it could have been a nice little soft plot twist. Yeah, don't drop down there, or you died. Or you're gonna die. <laughs> we're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. it certainly takes your breath away. Yeah, one of my favorite things in life is a good view. Nah, I think that'll be the question of the day. What is your what what is your favorite thing in life? As I've just said, mine is a good view, and this is a good example of it. Can you save your observations for later? Come well, on. Excuse me, you impatient little bitch. I can't believe I complimented you earlier. Great swords hilt. Right, we can keep going for just a bit longer. What a good bird. You didn't try to attack us. So these guys we have to fight? Alright. I didn't want to face that one. Oh fuck it, I'm fighting it. Get on over here. I think you're doing. You want to tell you want to get impatient with me, and then you're gonna just stand around like that? Like, get out of here. Entrance is up ahead. You know whose voice I can picture her having? Edna's voice from Tales of Zestereo. What a fun character she is. Anyways. 
This is the city's entrance now, eh? Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing! Sparking amazing. <laughs> Just say fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing, man. You can take the eye patches off now. Eh, yeah, well, won't need them past this point. But they're so cool, I mean. Alright. And you're sure about that? The city's. The city's got some signal jamming. Tuck that. Functions just like the eye patches. Blocking dirt detection by the Mobius. We're safe inside. You have my word. I suppose that must be the reason. Why, well, they haven't been able to discover the city thus far. You got that right, even though it's in plain fucking sight. You got that right, this... This place is our last, er... Uh, readout that our sole haven in this world. But as soon as we step outside, Mobius are all over us. Like a bad wool sweater. So what I... What I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patch when you're out and about, that's all. I hear ya. Loud and clear. We we'll remember. Man, but the eye patches were so cool. Come on, really? I have to take off mine now as well, even though mine's broken. And that no pawn looks fucking ridiculous. Holy god. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Xenoblade X with this city. Why is this name just City? Yep, just City. No interesting name. Just City. Not even City inside the sword. Nope, just City. City. Yeah, you can tell they really sure didn't think of a name for this enough. one. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes, they look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? <laughs> Thank you, Tyon. Do they really add these sensor rings just because of all the cursing that was in Xenoblade yeah, sure. 2? They could curse as much as they'd like. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. More colonies added. Huh. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Zendrillo Parade. Uh-oh, they're looking down on us. And they're from Kevis and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. We're probably all older than you. What do you mean we're a bunch of kids? No one of us is already gonna die soon. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited. I feel we're not exactly welcome to your cliche. <laughs> they're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey! Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Manana spy tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans, just like yeah, us. Yeah, Mio's not human, and neither is Uni or something. So you're or a boss. Those lands. You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates. You happy that you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> hey, look, it was this chick's father who entrusted us with it. You didn't get mad at him. 
The old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, Excuse me? We are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. <laughs> Good to add more names. All right, we're still following her, it looks like. I'll introduce you to them another time. Two hours in, time really does fly, doesn't it? You, um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raving lunatics. They kind of look that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. All right, so what was the reason you fight again? I don't know. Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. What's that? I see some relations have changed. Huh. Oh, fuck it. We're just gonna jump around for a bit while. Okay, another cutscene. Never mind. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> yeah, Uni's having a panic attack again. Look at that. <sighs> Thanks. This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Hmm, by keep us shackled, you mean like a boss? Mm-hmm. And I don't mean like a game boss, I mean a boss in real life. They try to keep you shackled all the time. Hey, Noah. You know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Aren't those... Cradles. Your so-called cradles... ...are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth... ...trained to kill one another ruthlessly... ...and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks... ...becoming the fuel... ...that feeds Mobius. 
In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Oh, just like the blade in Xenoblade 2. Then that husk I saw. Yeah, that was you, woman. We keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here. They're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh... Right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. I see some relations have changed. Huh. I would end off this recording, but this is pretty interesting. You just teleported. Jeez, man, don't scare me like that. These jump scares. It's not even a horror game. Need to do jump one, two, three. This is seriously giving me some Xenoblade X vibes over here. Yay, we gotta see pregnant chicks. Yeah, it's gonna be one of you one day. <laughs> Where are we? This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? Uh, was that a joke that I just thought? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come. Was that seriously just a court? <laughs> Did I just think what that joke was? Yep, that was obvious. Oh my god, I've never seen this before in my life. Geez, you want some maternity lessons? Just get it from Zeta Blade 3. <laughs>
She's so warm. Place one finger. In her palm. It didn't have to be your pinky, it could have been your pointer finger, just saying. <laughs> I, I can't take it seriously when it just goes a big gasp. Hey, Santa! Look at this! You need to try it too! <laughs> Whoa, you're right! Mimi, it's incredible! Let, let me have a turn. Well, let me guess. The baby's not gonna like him trying to hold his hand. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You're enjoying this way too much. Incredible, Senna. And on that day, this child had six more grandparents. Or not grandparents, uh, godparents. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. Alright then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want to know how babies are made? Well, what a mommy and daddy love each other very much. <laughs> Oh, you get the gist. <laughs> Alright, that joke is pretty obvious. I bet he's thinking, yeah, this is gonna be me and me, alright, they're just making children. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be thinking, yo, you think what I'm thinking? Let's go find a bench. Oh, you two won't know you want to do it. Don't act this like you don't. It's human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Oh, geez, who needs health class? Just play this game if you want to listen on children. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. Yeah, how the hell did they retrieve Vandom's little, uh, his eye patch? Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do.
following. Yay. The Red Park. Most likely short for Viridian. Park. Totally not stolen from the Kanto region. Not at all. Nope. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Nah, that's totally not Mio. That's Nia, yeah. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... Well, don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes, their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down Amobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Oh, what a why fucking coincidence that there was only six of us at the moment. It. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving, it took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Well, I just realized those yes, descendants of Ouroboros might still be alive as we've seen at the castle. I knew that piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our Queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true Queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids, and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. Because they're afraid, so that's why. Mean nothing to them. If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is, 
whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so precious. Shania. What are we walking to do? Or, what are we walking to do? I don't remember his voice. This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Oh man, we're going to some dorms, man. Alright. Mobius warning level. The uh, cubes and Agnes warning levels have combined to form a single Mobius warning level Looks like for some way to be why? I don't even. Mm, oh well. I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. This is the dorm for young lost numbers soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your rooms. Oh, and sadly there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the sing single soldiers eat at the Machiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to, to use that empty plot of land over there. Gotta thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot of lots to discuss. Agreed. Uh, how shall we arrange that? Meet me in the last numbers war room. It's the place down the lift from near the Praetorian Hill, which we pass on the way here. I'll let you know closer in time. Oh, before I forget, you're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? I said we were in hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Anyway, I think we can finally end off this episode. Rooms are ready for you now. How about getting some rest? Alright, not just yet. Alright, we'll get some rest in the next episode. Well, let me just save real quick. It's good to keep a record. Alright, and that'll be the end of today's little episode. Uh, excuse all the long shit from the beginning with that last fight, but anyways. Thank you everybody for watching New Gamer Bears if you liked this and in my Pokemon series if you want to have a Pokemon named after you, one of my Pokemon. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow on any of the platforms that I make these videos on like YouTube, Twitch, or Rumble. Please do whatever you need to do to support the channels if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching and see you in part 16 of this playthrough. Bye bye.